Hey guys, Golden Guy here, and welcome to Imitation Game number 8. Today we're going to be using our Heavy Zenzugas. It's been a while since I've used this troop combo. And they're the absolute OG. Stage 1 is down. Anyone who's been up through this game knows that Heavy Zenzugas are the classic troop combo. It's what you basically start out with all the way until you can get your tanks upgraded. Stage 2 is down with Barrage and we'll probably throw some Gumboat into Stage 3 as well. We've got that 50% Barrage damage and that's going to help us easily take out these cores with Gumboat. Throw a cryo bomb just for fun up front. Stage three's down. Stage four, let's deploy some troops. I tend to uh, deploy two boats of heavies, the rest of my zookas, and then two more boats of heavies. I like to make a little sandwich. I'm gonna take out that grappler and let's just throw a bunch of critters down distract these defenses and before you know it stage four is down stage five let's see what we got here I've um, got a back middle core and a very front loaded base so you know what that means we're smoking we're smoking straight to the back of course let's we'll utilize these corners and we're gonna flare to this top corner because he did have the weapons lab and the corner we like to flare to so I did throw my smoke a little bit left because I knew the troops would take a leftward path around that that lumber mill and let's flare back up top to concentrate our troops in a good spot for the core. Pop some battle orders. And stage five is quickly going to go down. Let's attack into stage six. Wow, look at that. <laughs> They've got their shock launchers and rocket launchers just nicely stacked together for us. <laughs> We're just going to need two barrages and four of the five defenses that we're really worried about are down now. So this attack will be so easy. I put down a set of critters right on the machine gun to distract those cannons so the machine gun wouldn't target them. I'm going to throw a shock on these flamethrowers on the right hand side to protect my heavies. But from here on out let's just throw a bunch of critters down, distract these cannons and the rest of these defenses, and stage 6 is down. Scouting into stage seven. This looks like a uh, a base that is very susceptible to a smoky zooka, but if y'all want to go for that, go ahead. We've got two more attacks, so it definitely is not a bad idea to try and take it out as a smoky hookah attack. If you don't beat it, you still got an next try. But let's play the safer out. I'm going to barrage this shock launcher and the two rocket launchers up front or behind the core and then let's flare and smoke to the back. Got enough for one more smoke but I'm not going to throw it. We'll let that grappler take a couple of our troops. This gunboat is going to be more valuable later on in this attack. 
definitely want to throw some critters down to distract the grapplers a little bit. Um, then you're worried about the rocket launcher hitting it, but looks like we're good for now. The grappler is taking out those critters. I'm going to go ahead and shock the rocket launcher and the other grappler. And let's pop some battle orders. We'll shock one more time, this time getting the rocket launcher and the shock launcher. And stage 7 is down, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more Boom Beach videos. Stay tuned tomorrow for Dr. T's Tropical Island.